Well, I'm going to drop just a tiny amount of beats. Whoa! What? Wait, get... hold on. Wait a minute. There's a new MC allergy freestyle. What, what it sounds what like. Right? This is just to get y'all started. There's only one phrase. I'm waiting for the beat. Oh, Here we go. Yeah. Right, go. Damn. Don't you know them allergies? They grow on them family trees. We have girls, one, two, three. And they all got those allergies. <laughs> it's too good. We got to start the show. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It is go time for Night Attack. Bring you the best of the worst of the internet ever since anybody cared. Hello, beautiful people. It's Tuesday night. I'm Brian Brush with Live in Austin, Texas. Joining me from OAK, it's JRY. What is going on, Justin Robert Young? Oh, my good God, Brian. <laughs> we are only days away from our biggest show of the year in Dragon Con in Atlanta, Georgia. Let's get this out up front. You it know, is Saturday, September 3rd, in the Grand Salon East in the Hilton. Uh, that will be at 10 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, where Atlanta is located. <laughs> uh, all right, before we get to that, let me just say how much I've been looking forward to doing the show in Dragon Con. Like, it's going to be a what lot of fun. In Dragon Con? Yeah, we, no, we're going to do the show in Dragon Con. Our seventh show, Brian. Our seventh show at Dragon Con. But... I have a seven-year-old who's now eight. How can that be? Because <laughs> you had a one-year-old when you started doing the show? That's amazing. Uh, now yeah, I, man, now no, I just want to do the show in drag. We got, we are here. So uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, we have a lot of announcements to make, announcements about Dragon Con, announcements about uh, Beyond Dragon Con. But first, let's introduce, of course, our lovely crew here. Of course, the invisible wife, Bonnie Brushwood. Hello. Uh, you couldn't see it because she's invisible, Justin, but the entire time that fantastic Stephen Cogswell joint was playing, mm -hmm. she was she was shaking her head and she was giving the, the cut, like, oh. cut, cut sign, and she mouthed the words, too much, too much, too much. And oh. then when the beat dropped, she started instantly mouthing along with herself and nodding, going, allergies, grow on family trees. Like... It was like that bit with Homer saying, like, sometimes I say, no, no, don't stop the rock. And then I'm like, yeah, yeah, keep it going. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I don't remember doing that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Dude. Well, I mean, listen, that Cogswell's a genius. God, we have that to talk about. Uh, the, the album and everything and, and all, the, all the songs, the results are back for that. But I don't know if we're going to have time to talk about it this week. Let's talk about uh, Dragon Con. Yeah. The show, again, uh, Grand Salon East, it's a new day. Uh, normally, it is Sunday that we do the show. We are now on Saturday. It's a harder day to get a crowd, so we're going to need everybody to proselytize. It is Grand Salon East in the Hilton, 10 p.m. Yeah. Uh, well, thankfully, even though it's going to be harder to draw a crowd late on a Saturday night, uh, thankfully, I'm sure we got a venue that it's going to be easier to pack, right? D. Oh, is I mean, yeah, it, it'll be easier to pack because there'll be so much room. Well, Everyone will be able to get a seat, so therefore it'll be easier to seat. Yeah, but okay, okay, but like, like the Crystal Ballroom could fit like three or four hundred people, and we were able to pack that. I mean, how how big how big is this? A uh, thousand. Oh, three times three times bigger, huh? Uh, All right, just tell me this much. Yeah, at least, you know, we got a lot of fans in the podcast track community, a lot of fans in the skeptic track community. There's yeah. not like a real popular skeptic. Who's in the crystal ballroom while we're in this other bigger room? I believe that would be the skeptics guide to the galaxy universe. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Whatever, fuckers. Yeah. So about that. Hey, uh, so 
We got to we got to we got to blow this thing up, right? I know. Well, first we should spread some scurrilous rumors about the skeptics. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Uh, all right, here. So, uh, also, we don't have two of our favorites. Uh, uh, Tom Merritt and Veronica Belmont will not be joining <laughs> oh, us this man, year. Oh, man, the hits just keep on coming. <laughs> I know. I know. So, we have a bigger venue, a better time slot, and two of our, our favorites are not going to be there. So, we had to rebuild. So, we are here to announce that joining us on our panel are other Diamond Club favorites. Of course, the amazing... Author, a uh, friend of the show, has been on here so many times. Scott Sigler will be joining us for uh, the entire panel. Uh, we are very, very excited. In fact, I waited until he put out his little schedule on Twitter, and then I DM'd him, and I'm like, hey, you want to be on the show? And he's like, of course I do. And he's like, like I'm like, good, then get back to Photoshop, you jerk. <laughs> put that on your schedule. <laughs> yeah. uh, and we will be joined by both Flint Flossie, and whatchamacallit of the Turquoise Jeep. They will be joining us on the panel as well. Dude, uh, very excited. We got to set up some bit where they're like celebrity guest judges because I don't want to make them, uh, you know, perform for us because there's only two of them and they're an entire group. Uh, but, uh, but okay, so we've got to come up with some bits that, yeah. that will be universal because I don't know if you know this, uh, Justin, we, we rely on a bunch of inside jokes from time to time. And we don't want to do that for this show. We want it to be universal where everyone could just say it's really freaking funny. Everybody, come on out. Absolutely. Absolutely, Brian. Uh, <laughs> what, what are those bits? <laughs> I just saw that the BSDM, or I don't even know. The BDSM? Yeah, it, they said they're not doing the show after you guys. No, 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 because we're on Saturday and not Sunday. Normally, our, oh, our, that's our, our, right. our mortal enemies are, are the BDSM panel that happens traditionally after our Sunday show. Right. Uh, <laughs> but we, we actually, we don't have a time limit. Uh, oh. To, uh, this, this oh. <laughs> so. well, I have, a, I have a, an idea. Yes, okay. real All quick. Right. It was spawned from a show earlier called Dicks at Night. And you capture that audience. What? <laughs> Funny, wait. I, you missed a set. What, what is happening? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Keep feeling going. a little loopy tonight. Maybe Keep I going. shouldn't talk. I thought it would be funny. Now I really regret Alexa, it. <laughs> order toilet paper. <laughs> Good night, everybody. What? What did I do? <laughs> You know, Night Attack is already a very bad name. <laughs> we get on the schedule as having Night Attack, Dicks at Night. Plus, also, keep in mind, keep in mind last year, during the BDSM panel, we, we, we had the, the shame nun from Game of Thrones showed up, and everybody just tried oh, to No, 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 no. Our so problem was we had two shame nuns. Yeah. Trying yeah. to outshame each other, and they were so loud that the very quiet, respectable BDSM people came out and said, uh, excuse me, could you guys please keep it down? Well, we're because everybody was cheering panel. along. Everybody got to the act, and so we all of a sudden were accidentally staging a protest against the BDSM community as we chanted outside their panel, shame, shame, shame. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I can only imagine that it's like the most like. <laughs> so anyway, w when you're when you're restraining your sub, you want to make sure that you tighten. But uh, you know, the, the rule of thumb is two notches for each year. And uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this was all happening right outside of the BDSM panel. God, we're such oh dicks. God, we we are dicks at night. <laughs> hey man, we're dicks at night. <laughs> We could even have the Nick at Night logo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here's what we want. We want to bring back some of our our favorite bits. We always do. I think we're, we're probably going to keep doing Brody Quest, right? Uh, oh, don't uh, don't don't get yeah. Brodied. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, somebody called beforehand and pointed out that there will be a projector available, so we can do uh, PowerPoint roulette, which was one of my favorite. Structural bits. We only did it once on Night Attack, uh, but I thought it was very, very, very funny. Uh, that's the one where 
we could even have, you know, Patrick Delahanty. I know he's got a big archive of just strange things. I don't know how that'll play for the audio listeners, but live, that's universal. That one's a crowd pleaser. That was created by Patrick Delahanty, and he's done it at a whole bunch of conventions. So that, all right, let, let's put that under consideration. What about people brought up in the pre-show, you booze? Now, uh, Bryce, do you even remember you booze? I don't remember you booze so much. Chat, uh, Bonnie, do you remember you booze? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, there's a reason I said Dixon Knight. <laughs> It's like, my job is done. <laughs> I mean, I'm the one who said dicks at night after all. <laughs> Wait, can, can we time out real quick? Where, where did that come from? It was also, like last was episode. This, yeah, you guys definitely talked about it last week. <laughs> Yo, no, you guys were going on about pussy something, and then I go, dicks at night. And then y'all are all like, oh, whatever, too far. And I was just like, hey, you were saying pussy something. And then you're like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, and I shut down the party. I said, dicks at night. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good bit. Let's just throw it in. <laughs> it was a callback, apparently. It was That's forgotten. Fun. I don't even. So you booze, Justin, you want to walk us through that one? <laughs> <laughs> should I just go? <laughs> I just feel like <laughs> we should. Dicks at night should be Brian and I having a very serious conversation, and Bonnie, whenever she wants, just muting our mics and saying, "Dicks at night." <laughs> hey, you got you want to you want to test this just like yeah. a little bit? Okay, so remember that uh, remember that monkey that got shot? <clears throat> that that okay, wait, wait, wait here. Let, let's uh, uh, like uh, let's let's just have a, a, a just a, a regular conversation, right? Got and it. And then Bonnie Bonnie will just tap Bryce on the shoulder. <laughs> Whenever she wants, so she can whisper yeah, her just, catchphrase. Just point at me. Just point at me. All right, uh, uh, Brian. Uh, uh, where where you where were you born? Uh, Southern California, actually. I wasn't born in Texas, uh, although I moved here as fast as I could. Dicks at night. Five years old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny because I was actually born in Texas, and now I live in California. Wait, Dicks uh, at night. <laughs> but I, my grandmother lived in Florida. Dicks at night. <laughs> I'm sorry. Grand, you said grandmother. Like, you know. All right. I mean, statistically, it's very says, likely. Oh, when they took Who Wants to Be a Millionaire from one night a week to seven, they were like, eh, no, not enough. We could do it twice <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. You booze. So nobody remembers you booze. Do we even do you booze on NSFW or was that only a BB? I, th I think we did. I want to say it was like episode three or four. Uh, uh, the rule. Some of the rules have changed because it used to be. Was it always the most recent comments, or now it's the most popular comments? Okay, because uh, Yubu's bit was we we had a video. We only saw the description of it. Based on the description alone, we had to uh, oh, make a. It was yeah. a drinking game. You had to pick like uh, uh, one of the following options. You would bet whether you uh, <laughs> where, where somebody it was like the username and love the birth year of somebody commenting on their birth name. Or oh no, that's right. Uh, whether or not they were born, if their birth year is in their username. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Uh, okay. At least one commenter has a year after 1990 in their username. A complete sentence. At least one comment has a complete sentence. At least one comment is in all caps, not including, including abbreviations like LOL. Um, racist. Uh, one comment homophobic. Uh, one comment refers to a time code. Uh, one is a troll. Man, I feel like the filtering has kind of ruined the game, right? Oh, because now it's not all, it's not all chronological. Right. And it's sorted. It's sorted by the right. most upvoted or downvoted. Correct. Correct. So are we are we just such old farts that that you know that new booze has fallen apart, or is it worth putting a new coat of paint on it? I don't see how we could do it. Let's. Uh, you you want to throw? What, uh, show us a video that we were looking at. In just the sample it. Let's sample it a little so bit. So this would have been from twenty. Oh, oh no, no, no. I mean like one of our one of our pre-show selections here. Like we don't need oh, to watch sure, the sure, actual sure. thing. Uh, so here, uh, well, let's. Hey, we got a, a funny thing here from our friends. <laughs> Hopefully, someone will call. Rig, 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 oh, rig. oh, oh That's good. Up. We got our first caller. Cool. Uh, thank God. Hello. Hello. Hello, you're podcast. on the air. This is Auntie Donna's podcast with Mark and Broden. Hello, I'm Frogman. Hello, Frogman. <laughs> so, um, so we're going to look at the comments. Are you, just, are you just one of them froggies that needs a kissy? <laughs> and and here, here, pause, pause. <laughs> the Auntie Donna's podcast. <laughs> 
uh, but only for the reason that it's funnier than us, and I don't want to. <laughs> Stop wow. listening to us immediately. So, so we've got comments here. We've got them sorted by first, and so you guys would bet. So newest first. So this would be like the most recent. And the least likely to have been uh, moderated out. Oh, okay. So in this case, we have put it on Podbean, which would be no action. Uh, this is great. I love more animations of this style. That's a complete sentence. Mm, well, love, wrong. right? Or was that I, only love with the I, name? I, yeah, I thought it was the username. username. In the username. Okay. Uh, holy S word, never thought I'd see you guys done in SFM, uh, on to, yeah, I'm not seeing any triggers here. There's no racism against Did frogmen. YouTube used to be more awful? Is YouTube better than it used to be? Dude, here's the bitter irony. For as much as all of YouTube unified in one front saying that, that G plus comments was the devil and it was literally the worst thing to ever happen to YouTube, pretty sure it cleaned up the comments section. Pretty sure <laughs> it's pretty great. Turns out it's actually the only legacy of Google Plus is the Google Plus comments that are now on YouTube. Which makes me wonder if that wasn't the intention from the beginning. Because nowadays, it used to be that you couldn't post links. You couldn't, uh, uh, you know, upvote, downvote. Uh, in fact, I think you couldn't even delete or moderate your account. Like, if you had the account, people could say whatever they wanted, and it was just oh, there. Oh, yeah. Uh, people are saying, what about Reddit threads? But even then, that's almost more so, uh, uh, you know, graded for certain things. I don't know. I, I think you booze just might be a relic of the past. Reddit threads, we'd have to have a new set of triggers, like a, like atheist, uh, <laughs> meme, uh, 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 I don't know, white privilege. <laughs> yeah, I feel like then we're getting into, uh, I don't the know. Opposite I feel problem. like, all right, valiant effort on, on, on you booze. Are, are there any other, uh, just... Big, I mean, uh, uh, canonical games from us. Uh, here's we, we, here's we got. We got Chat Realm Feud, which I feel like is way too inside baseball. Yeah. Uh, but Cuba, if that was curated well. See, but it's I listed think, on here. Somebody put it. Yeah, but because after you said it, you said it uh, a lot. See how this is bonding you next to it? The, the thing about But Cuba, I think we tr we've tried to do But Cuba recently, and the 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 detection software is, is getting too good. good yeah it's, it might be too good the other thing uh, we could do audience startup spelling bee uh, doing any kind of spell startup spelling bee is good but that made sense when we were in Silicon Valley right when we were in uh, I was gonna say San Antonio uh, San Francisco it made sense for us to do that there especially because that was the end <laughs> somebody suggests we do Hitler's diet oh wait uh, uh, wait so wait hold on uh, uh, startup spelling bee would be too far out, but we can better explain to a group of strangers that Hitler has haunted us. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Well, first of all, I do feel like that would go over better at Dragon Con than Startup Spelling Bee, just because there's, I'm sure somebody's cosplaying as Hitler's dice. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> just wandering around on Saturday night, we're like, oh my God, did you guys, you know, we did a whole game about you. And like, oh yeah, anyway, I live in Tuscaloosa, but I'm really, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a banker, but this is my dream. I love Hitler's dice. Cosplay Thunderdome, of course, has to happen. That's a staple. So do we want to make it all audience points, like, like, dude, we already have two bits that we've done for the past four years, probably, if not five years, that take up two-thirds of the show anyway. Well, wait, uh, but but would we really be shutting down uh, cosplay Thunderdome? Because we've done that every single year, right? I know, yeah, and that's that's every single year, right? That's been seven years straight. So between cosplay Thunderdome and Don't Get Brody, that's two-thirds of the show. Ooh, yeah. Uh, is Don't Get Brody too close to cosplay Thunderdome? It hasn't been for the last five years we've well, done we, I don't them. think we've ever done them in the same show we've all we've done one or the other we did both of them last year definitely uh oh we did that's right mm -hmm. okay yeah. I take it back then great uh that's two-thirds of the show we can talk about our poop the rest of the time oh. <laughs> bit cancel <laughs> <laughs> <A -block. laughs> right. but 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 we'll have a soundboard of body going dicks and nice. <laughs> oh, nice. nice. hey all right so let's talk about something that's embarrassing <laughs> Brian. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you will know, but I've taken to selling stickers. I've heard you're on the sticks. I've, I heard I heard you got a sweet taste of some of that candy action, $5 a pop. I figure you're giving sticks out. You're just telling the world. You're like, hey, man. You no, know. Here's, here's what happened, man. Uh, all I know is that I was living a godless life, and then eventually I got religion. And uh, every time I would go to Austin, 
and I would walk by the dinner table and I would see the stained glass uh, 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 big uh, uh, display of Darren Kitchen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, well, I mean, it's actually it's it's an illuminated copy of his original dictation when he gave his uh, sermon at my kitchen table three yeah. years ago. And uh, who came down low? He done uh, came down and uh, and told unto Brian how he could monetize his audience. And low <laughs> Brian did indeed monetize his audience. Uh, I similarly was hanging out with Darren Kitchen one day, and he was saying, "Hey, why are you an idiot and not?" <laughs> Uh, doing stickers. Like, and Lo Darren like, did say unto Justin, you should create products that are so popular they show up in Mr. Robot. Be like me, for I am Darren Kitchen. And he elevated his hands in a shrug-like gesture and vanished into the heavens. Exactly. So I started selling stickers. It's been very, very great. Stickers or D-I-A-F is where you can buy them. $5 for seven, for seven stickers. I'm going to have a big pack at Dragon Con. But along with that pack, Brian. Yeah. I decided to do a limited edition, only sell it at Dragon Con sticker. You know, well, that's wonderful because then you could sell a lot of them at Dragon Con. 500 stickers that would commemorate our show. Well, that's a, that's a, big, that's a big investment because of that quantity, you're probably paying, paying upwards of a buck a sticker. So you probably want to make sure whatever it is is good. and, and... Yeah, and we're going to give away... Well, no, it, it's it's way under a buck a sticker, but uh, uh, this is now we're just going to devolve. <laughs> yeah. well, let's talk about monetizing you guys in front of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I was like, well, I want to make sure it's something cool that people want. And also in the back of my head, I'm like, man, we got a big room to fill. It would be really cool if we could annoy the ever living crap out of the Dragon Con staff by having our people put them up literally everywhere. Uh and so I, uh, I I talked to a dude who did the art, and I approved the art, and I submitted it. And yesterday, I was starting to pack them up, getting ready for the show, and I posted. I'm like, you want to know what? I'm just going to give these people a taste of what they got. So I posted it on Twitter. I'm sure Bryce already has it queued up. Oh, you know <laughs> I have it ready. That's that exclusive sticker that hey, you're going to get. That's a sweet sticker. It's very cool. It's got the comic half tone. Brian, can you read all the, just read the text yeah, on here? Yeah, sure. It says Dragon Con, 7th Annual. Con of a Dragon has got the Diamond Club symbol. It says the Grand Salon East at the Hilton, 7 great. p.m., Saturday, September 3rd. Oh? What? Because huh? you just said it was 10 p.m., but then... Uh, that seems like a fairly significant error. Did you just get a little mix a doodle there? I mean, it'll be 7 p.m. somewhere. <laughs> Is that the name of the if show? I were, if I were in Oakland and I was watching the show, it would be at 7 p.m. How did you get it in your head that it was at 7 p.m.? Did somebody say 7 p.m.? Tell me, tell me, like Bryce got mixed up and you're like, well, no, if you were I back home. <laughs> He's the one, Bryce is the one who corrected me. Oh, and geez. then also was so kind as to when I said that, oh, wait, I guess that we'll have to have little correction stickers on. It was like, oh, wait, you got those printed? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he's proofread. Oh, he's proofread. So here's the problem is that I put it in my calendar. And when I was looking up the details, uh, it helpfully because I was looking at it in your Oakland. current also, time zone. Yeah, I was doing. I was contracting for this to be done literally like a week ago. Like I was, I was DMing with a random person to to put it up. So, uh, uh, yeah, you know, uh, it's it's uh, as part of the sticker. So here's the good news: if you're buying the ten dollar stock up sticker pack. Uh, you will get this bonus sticker. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely looks like a uh, label is, that says 10 p.m. Saturday, is, September 3rd. This is a Microsoft default mailer label. Oh <laughs> it's, come on, Bryce, Rare. stop chop, chop my ass. It's very obviously a Dymo stock label printer. <laughs> <sighs> uh, so there we go. Hey, you want to know what? It's a misprint, which makes it more valuable as a collector's no, item. It's all part of Darren's master plan. His will be done through <laughs> Justin Robert Young. Sergeant uh, Muffin leaked your, uh, your your upcoming t-shirt line. <laughs> oh, all right. All right, Wait, Muffin. Jeez. Wait, what am I missing? It's Marge Simpson all distorted-faced? 
Yeah, but it's all like pr- like misprinted. Oh, squeeze. got it, got it, got it. Okay. Her eye is not normally horrible. Well, I was just wondering, like, did his <laughs> calendar say that Marge Simpson's eyes melted as well? <laughs> Are we gonna blame his calendar for that one? Uh, so, so, so there we go. Uh, you know, what was the other thing I wanted to mention? Uh, we oh, also, uh, we're gonna have a table at Dragon Con. Wait, we are. We're going to have a Diamond Club table. Who's I secured a Diamond Club table for who's, us. Who's going to be at this table? I, I'm going to be out drinking. No, I mean, anybody who wants to be there. If no one's there, then no one's there. Oh, like, we, got it. It's our community table, and anyone who has Diamond Club-related goods can man it and sell it? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, so, dude, that's, that's amazing. amazing. Head to the Reddit. Uh, Reddit.com slash r slash Diamond Club. Uh, oh, wow. Dude, that is awesome. Uh, um, hey, Brian, you want to know what really keeps us going at night? <laughs> Is it Dixon? Is it's it Dix? <laughs> Do we want to try again with the Patreon plug? Just another Dix at night. Maybe All right, bit. ready? Three, two, one, and. Hey, Brian, you want to know what really makes sure that the show happens every Tuesday? Uh, is it patreon.com slash night attack? Indeed. You can head to patreon.com slash night attack to make sure that you support this very show. Oh, already 1,592 of you have done it, and we would love to get up to 1776 uh, within the next 12 hours. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, not for nothing, but it, I, I don't want to say our patronage is slipping, but it looks like we got some nip slips uh, taking a dip. Uh, and if you have been on the fence about supporting the show, then we would absolutely love to have you part of the family. We uh, <clears throat> are... Uh, we're putting together the final... I mean, we're we're in the home stretch. We got one more recording session... For yeah, our now's, fifth now's, album. Now's the time to get in. If you want previews on the album, uh, the album is coming together, and we are about ready to start uh, uh, sending out the tracks to make sure that everybody, uh, we can get the notes of the community so everybody's primed and pumped so we can have the biggest launch of an album we've ever had. But you can only get it early and often if you are on our Patreon, patreon.com. Yeah, by the way, Captain Fubar is saying, sorry, I'm too poor. Too poor to give us a literal nickel? That's that's it. Just pledge a nickel. We don't care what the amount is. What we care is that you're on the side of people who are uh, throwing us a nickel. We're on the side of people shaking their fists uh, and saying, uh, I demand nickel, it's free. A sickle, a dime, a scythe. <laughs> a dime, a scythe. It's our weapons-based if, podcast. If we can get one more Patreon, we'll buy a rhyming dictionary. And then maybe... <laughs> <laughs> so we can rhyme dime with something besides scythe. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, MC Allergy. I'm sorry. I didn't know we were so picky well, that, on our rhyme schemes. That was, I was hoping to use it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be keeping it at my house. Patreon. Uh, uh, Patreon.com slash Night Attack. Thank you to everybody who uh, supports us and everybody who will support us until the end of time. Brian, we have one more announcement, and it's not Dragon Con related. Uh, one more announcement. Okay, but then do we get to real talk? Because Bonnie's got Bonnie had some real talk moments, some uh, MC uh, allergy moments. You don't want to talk about that? I I don't know if I can be funny about it. <clears throat> well, know. okay, you can Maybe be proud. Maybe y'all can y'all can like. All right. Fish for the funny. I don't know. <laughs> fish funny. What, what what's our other big announcement? Uh, we have a big show coming up after Dragon Con, so next week will be our replay of our Dragon Con show, but the next live show like this one will be special yeah dude it's happening uh freaking you guys suggested it you guys harassed him over twitter you guys donated and demand he did it adam curry has confirmed that he'll come join us in studio and uh in, and actually come on out oh bonnie's bonnie's eyes just lit up and not only that but i asked justin i was like yeah i think he can come down in studio and justin's like well if, if that's happening then i've got to I gotta fly out for this. <laughs> uh, because... I will be in studio as well. It will be Brian, uh, uh, myself, and Adam Curry uh, all live in the same studio. Uh, that is not next week, but the week after that. That would be September thirteenth. Yes, that's right. right. A uh, date after another date that has no real uh, significance. Uh, It's just like every other date. Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, uh, just. uh, I mean, go. I mean, I thought thought you mentioned that, and I thought that that was going to be like we'd keep it uh, to ourselves and pretend. Oh, you're telling me they're not going to notice that we have Adam on right after September 11th? You're you're telling me I'm the only one who noticed that? 
Night attack. Turn. Does <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we just all agree that that'll be the last thing we talk about? We're going to talk. He's got so many rad stories. Of, I thought of, that this was not. Okay. Yes. Yes. We can agree. We can agree. We can agree. This is the last time that we bring up that uh, that 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 is the date. And that is another date that also happens near mm-hmm. that date. Uh, yeah, uh, by the way, here's how the, uh, the the tight negotiations. It was a near thing. I texted Adam. Hey, Adam. All the fans are going crazy about the idea of you joining us for Night Attack. Is there a Tuesday in September you think you could join us in the studio? And he says, sure thing. How about the 12th? And he goes, up oh, the 13th, I mean. And I say, awesome. Let me check with Justin, and hopefully we can lock it all in. And then, oh, wait, I didn't, uh, I never confirmed. Uh, oh, <laughs> God. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're oh, all on. I hope he texts you back and says, oh, no, I'm going to be busy. Uh, you know, it's two days after 9-11. <laughs> LOL. I thought we were agreed. We're not going to talk about that anymore. What are you doing? Well, then you told me that the guest is not booked. And it's right the fact that I have plane tickets. <laughs> uh, Justin. <laughs> Is Let even... him know that the show is going to be happening at 7 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I just said, hey, we're all confirmed for the 13th. Justin's even flying out. Should be a blast. Um, uh, a very politic. Okay, a very but, politic way of putting that. Okay, the last thing I said was, awesome, let me check with Justin, and hopefully we can lock it all in. He gave a confirmatory response. And I, I don't think I'm talking out of cl- out of school to to reveal what it is, but what would you guess Adam Curry's confirmation of like that's good? Uh, let's continue with this discussion. It Take would be. That. Uh, <laughs> it's a <laughs> <laughs> body. Uh, rad. Uh, okay, we got rad. We got ten four. <laughs> we got poop emoji. <laughs> Maybe okay then. It's okie doke. Hey, one word. I love. I'm a big fan of okie doke. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Now we got our first question that we can ask him is, you know, <laughs> okie doke. <laughs> Wait, that's not a question. Is that cool? <laughs> One word uh, or two. So when we when we were chatting about it, we also got an email. I, I haven't listened to this, but we got an email uh, from our own Stephen Cogswell who says, hey, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> before I started making stuff for you guys, I made stuff for those guys, for another oh, NA. And, and, and hey, by the way uh, – this was totally all put together by you guys, by chat room. Apparently there were there were moles between that are fans of both shows that were stoking the fires between our Reddit and their Reddit and would just go over and post to their uh, posted to our Reddit, hey, you know that uh, Adam Curry and, uh, and and Dvorak were talking about you on No Agenda, and then we reacted. They took that audio, posted it on the No Agenda forum, and said, hey, by the way, they responded. This was totally engineered from the inside, so thank you guys for putting this together. I would like to think the whole thing came about it came about like in a Three's Company way where they were all talking to me like, hey, what do you like? They're like, oh, I like NA Podcast. Oh, man, I love NA Podcast, too. And then they're all talking about how great it is, but they're confused because they're remembering different bits, and then they realize one's No Agenda and the other's night attack and then they're like well let's just get them on the same podcast dude it is going to be a blast i am super excited to be down there and it gives us a chance to put our final touches including brian we're gonna have to do this on monday night what's up but if you remember our first number one billboard comedy album Uh, we had one session where both of us got pretty lit and we decided that either it was going to be funny and we would add it to the album or we would just give it away for free because it was the drunk sessions. Sure. And that was the session where Captain Morgan was born. Yeah, sure. Uh, wait, are you saying that Captain Morgan needs to happen with Adam no, Curry? I'm saying that we just need to have another one of those. Oh, you're there. saying. We, yeah. OK, so uh, because you're flying out, this will be our last yeah. opportunity to do a recording session for the album, which, by the way, is coming together so nicely. We got uh, legit ass producers, legit ass producing. We we got custom tracks coming to us from Stephen Cogswell. Uh, it's we take amazing. A- yeah. No, can- it is. It is insane how it's coming together. I think you guys are going to absolutely love it. But uh, yeah, no, it's, it's going to be great. There's a reason why we're coming out there. I'm going to do Austin to not only do this show, but also get the album. Ready to roll. Can, can we take a listen to Cogswell's work from his No Agenda 
Days. Yeah, this is uh, this is called the Adventures of Crackpot and Buzzkill. Yeah, that's their uh, wrong direction, John. It's pretty lame. It's, it's not just lame. It's oh, by the way, I've got uh, I've got the beginnings of my uh, my hip hop uh, track here. Let me play this for you. Yeah. Is, it, is this the yeah. origin of that phrase? It's pretty good, right? I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. <laughs> it's awesome. It's totally rocking. We're getting there. Dude, that's amazing. Uh, man. I'm, I'm I'm super bummed. I mean, like, listen, they, there's just a gigantic shared audience between us and No Agenda. I don't know what it is about. I mean, I don't know. Do we have a similar show where two random people just talk about whatever the hell they want? It's as though we we all we too have uh, are lacking in a schedule. Uh, man, Bonnie, you were confused about this uh, about this this, this meme. Per- meme. Oh yeah, Can- yeah. I haven't. I mean, I've only got peripheral. Like, very blurry vision of what's going on. Okay, there. what do you know about the hot new meme tearing up the charts? Dicks out for Harambe. No, that really, I, I don't understand the dicks out part. I understand that, like, um, you have this, was it a gorilla? Yes. Yes. No, and here, yeah. Just I understand the Harambe explain part. Explain the fact that this is, uh, right now... My 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 alma mater and, and the newspaper that that brought me any and all of my uh, love for journalism, the Daily Orange, ran a whole piece about kids, 18 to 22 year old kids putting up in their dorm room windows, R.I.P. Harambe, which is which is all all over the campus right now. It was covered yesterday uh, in the Daily Orange. Uh, so this is this is vital with the youth of today. Can you explain why this is happening? Like this, this many weeks later after it happened? Yeah, this is yeah. a current just, just meme. Give us the full download, the full download of why this is happening, what happened, what was the inciting incident, and how are we here? Uh, I would think that his funeral service was today. Okay. No? No? Uh, keep, yeah, going, keep, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Also, accurate. don't look at Brian. You can, you're not allowed to look at Brian. Look at the wall and and say what. Okay, it is. I'm 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 feeling like I'm in a trap. No, it's a trap. Uh, no, there's no there's no trap. <laughs> no, we're, no, no, we're just we're just, like because we are talking about the the gorilla that got shot. That's correct. And not yeah. like somebody who no. Okay, there's nothing bad along that line. So why are they just now talking about it? I do know that the UT campus was all like dicks out for gun control, but and we talked about that last that was, time. That was. Cox yeah, for totally different. Yeah, yeah. Why, Cox why, why are why are kids so many months after this gorilla was was murdered? Uh, why are they still affected by the gorilla's death? Um, they feel his absence. They're really sad. <laughs> they went to the zoo and he wasn't there. I <laughs> I'm having a hard time coming. I don't. Uh, help me, chat. Why, why do you? Why do you think? Why do you think that kids, uh, male uh, people, would want to pull their penises out for for this dead gorilla? Uh, can, can, can I confess that I actually don't know why? I just, I, I just know that this is the thing, maybe and I'm actually really excited. Maybe to, their so penises look like dead gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, what? Bonnie. Bonnie, have you seen a penis before? You've seen one before, right? It's always dicks at dark. <laughs> By the way, By the way, that was the first time that something that's come out of Bonnie's mouth could a hundred percent be a Tyler the Creator lyric. <laughs> It's dicks at dark now. We're changing it. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> oh, man. Captain Fubar says that that was a burn on me. <laughs> it's like apparently she's only seen one dick. <laughs> it happened to be a gorillas. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a gorillas? Uh, why? 
Why do you? So, so what? What is your explanation? Explain to Bonnie what yeah, the what is it, Brian Brushwood? <laughs> uh, okay, so this is this is a little bit. I hope closer to to the actual thing. Um, uh, I, as best I can tell, and I really want to learn more. Um, is uh, the Rah- the Harambe uh, shooting was genuine tragedy? It was it was the Kobayashi Maru of zookeepers. Um, you know, somebody said uh, clever girl and shot Harambe because he had a four year old. Um, and uh, it's genuinely tragic. And I think it is just long enough that it's not so sensitive that um, uh, transgressive memes have been, you know, it's it's been just long. Kind of like kind of like it took uh, 15 years before uh, you started hearing. I hesitate to say it out loud, no. but 9-11 jokes. Uh, uh, but the, uh, but I, I thought that was the last time we were going to mention you, I didn't even talk about me. Adam Curry. Ah. Why does oh, what are you I know you definitely mentioned it. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> He's not bad. He's not going to be on now. Uh, no. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Hey, check out this headline. The Harambe meme is still going strong. And it's about a lot more than a dead gorilla. Yeah, so so I figured I figured that number Big one, fun. the revival of it is just that it's been long enough that it seems like you know uh, uh, the more transgressive circles want to, uh, uh, I, I don't know, um, uh, flaunt it or whatever, <laughs> and then and then it reached outrageous, absurdist levels where the idea of a tribute. Uh, by saying dicks out for Harambe, uh, is it just took hold? Was there some specific reference that that was making? No, 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 no. I mean, I think that the issue is just that the the meme is a parody. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this oh is a God. tweet. Can we read the tweet? Oh, it's no, really funny. Uh, it says, well, Grandpa, what was 2016 like? Sirens blare. The phrase <laughs> dicks out for Harambe flashes over and over in my mind. <laughs> Me, I don't remember. <laughs> um, has yes, four twenty likes. Yolo. Um, so I, I, best as I can tell, the Harambe meme is a parody of the pet controversies that spring up on social media and tend to persist, like that, ten weeks too long. Right? It's basically it's almost like you can never make fun of your friend who leaves on his uh, Facebook filter that makes his face uh, behind uh, a transposed French flag. Sure, or or he's still got got, uh, the green avatar to support the Arab Spring or whatever. Exactly. You can't make fun of that because that's like still super serious and then you're making fun of dead people. But Harambe is just in the middle of like actual tragedy enough that people were really upset about it, but also how long are we gonna yell and scream about the fact that this gorilla got shot? Uh, and so now it is it is funny because of that. Funny to some. I, I assume that it's funny specifically because other people are still offended, right? There's some number of people, I, I would imagine there's listeners right now who are just like, come on, man. Well, it's just like, it's not like, all right, listen, we spent a bunch of time, right? We spent a bunch of time and we all talk seriously about should they not have shot the gorilla? Well, what about the safety of the child? Well, should the parents be blamed? More at 11. And then life went on and everybody paid the rent and everybody tried to finger bang the people that they want to, you know, uh, uh, talk to. And it was a fun time and life went on. And then at some point it became really fun to say, oh, no, what if this was the controversy that never died? What if this lasted longer than everything else that was a more uh, a dire, awful, terrible controversy. Here's, what if this was the one that was everlasting? This is the graphic you need to see. May 31st, uh, Harambe interest is at 100%. Immediately drops off, stays dormant for about a month, and then begins to slowly creep up at a totally linear rate and is now... At what, uh, 76% of, 77% of its uh, So there, there is a very, there, there is a likelihood, who knows if it's a high likelihood, and I'll, uh, the fact that we're talking about it right now is probably indicative on some level, that the meme would be reaching more people than the initial controversy. There could be, however, here, I don't know, th- th- I, I think we might be, peaked out on the Harambe meme because there's only so long it's funny until and now it's familiar like like I remember the first time uh Jason Murphy was drunk tweeting he was talking about how outraged he was uh, about someone stealing his whatever and he just threw hashtag Coney 2012 in there and I thought it was yeah. the funniest thing uh ever uh but not really uh, I, I, I was reminded of the terrible tragedy of the plight of 
Right. Uh, <clears throat> no, wait, where did that go? <laughs> so my wait, point, my point is, up? it is not near, like, that was the sweet spot where it was just long enough that it yeah. had gone down, that that it was fresh again. And then, and I, you can't do that now. Nobody would be like, what's a Coney 12? Coney 2012, though, is also great because the guy who did it wound up going crazy and 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 was naked on the street well, and slapping and the pavement. That that was a different story where, like, that was genuinely, no matter how you felt about it politically, whether you thought it was a good idea, it was a sales pitch for a war with one of the most heart-wrenching 30-minute documentaries that exploded, became one of the most popular YouTube videos of all time, one of the most successful campaigns of all time. And in the time between its success happened and the date everybody was supposed to do the thing to do the to, to save the day, um, it collapsed under its own success. So the narrative of it became kind of this story of of of, of a, a, a miniature dot com bubble that ends up with a naked masturbating creator of the website out in public. <laughs> yeah, man, that was. Although it is kind of uh, Coney Twenty Twelve is sort of the poster boy of of empty hype. Forty eight hours later, we're all like, wait, what? Wait, what were we all crazy about? Why were we uh, posting about this 90,000 times? Like, why was this a thing? Like, that that is still the poster boy for that. Yeah, and it was still... Uh, and yet, I don't know. It, it, I, th I think we're seeing the same thing happen with the Harambe thing. That's my thesis. Sorry. I guess that was... But the only issue is that at the end of the day, if you're making fun of Coney 2012, it, like, you are also commenting on the fact that there are child soldiers involved. Correct. That's an unfortunate... Harambe, all you have is however much compassion you can pour into a gorilla at the zoo however tragic you can find that and listen your mileage may vary on exactly how much you care about a gorilla in the zoo and it's not to say that there is no compassion but it is now comically being overfilled because it was at x level and now it's at you know this exponential level beyond it and now we are at the point where by the numbers it could reach the same level of noise uh, that it did when it was an actual legitimate news story and people were like wondering whether or not the zookeepers were going to get fired and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm calling it. This is the peak. Uh, you you, you, you want to you want to perversely. Harambe? Yeah, you want to perversely gamble about the future of the Harambe meme. Oh, wait, are you saying that if by Dragon Con? Uh, oh. Uh, oh, this is it's wrong. It is more popular. Guys, this is wrong. You I... will actually pull your dick out for a <laughs> no! Yeah, get ready for a stuffed dead gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, well, you keep making me say Do you think things. you can get the safety guys to approve everything being dark like you do our <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we'll black out the lights. <laughs> and then we'll just play. Turn off the lights, everybody. I'm going to pull my dick out. <laughs> I just want, yeah, lights go out, Undertaker theme plays, and it's just Brian's wiener uh, uh, in black light with a little hat on top. Smoke. Oh, my God. Uh, all right, hey, but, I mean, like, do, do you want to maybe set it for, for the for the curry show or, or for Dragon Con? Dragon Con. You, you want to put some Dragon steaks? Con. Yeah, yeah. Let's say one. I'll say it's going to be lower one week from now. It's at, uh, the, two weeks. This is, well, no, no, no. Or, I'll say one week. Oh, no, no, no. Two weeks is, yeah. Yeah. Well, two weeks is curry, but if yeah. we want to pay something off at Dragon Con. No, let's do, let's do, let's do two weeks because I think curry would, would be, would I'd you, be interested to hear his take on it. Would you uh, cook steaks? Out on the grill? Dude, Somebody has I, to cook I, Yeah, you know what? Steaks. I'm going to cook seven steaks, and I'll give an eighth one if I'm wrong, because I owe you so many steaks by now. <laughs> and so the bet is if it's higher or I like, lower. I like the idea that you're going to cook the steaks either way, but if I don't win, you're just going to throw them in the yard and let your puppy sneakers <laughs> eat. No, no. Dogs, I'm going to give you seven gonna of like, them. Oh. I'm going to give you seven of them, but you might get an eighth, because I owe you seven steaks by now. I'm, I'm certain. Uh, uh, all right. So if... Harambe is, and this is this is just so we're clear. It's trends.google.com. The word Harambe, uh, and and what it does, it marks uh, the hundred percent high high water mark was shortly after the death. And when so, so I'm searching. betting that it will be more popular in two weeks when we do the show than it is right now. Oh, 
Wait, this is like. Yeah, I, I guess I don't know how to get a more updated thing. What was that article? Did they? Um, so that was the. Well, here we can do. Oh, past, there we go. Past past uh, ninety days. Uh, might have to be past twelve months. It was, well, it just said there there was an option for past ninety days. Well, yeah, but this is for. Oh. oh wait, it's already more popular. Yeah, it's popular than it was initially. Yeah, got it. Uh, if, if we want to go by where it is right now from the. Well, the problem is because this this hundred days, ninety days ago, was higher than it is now, which changes what this hundred percent means. Got it. So May thirty first is the hundred percent mark. It's complicated. Here, let's we'll, we'll just go back to twelve months. Yeah, but it shows it higher now than it was. Right, but if it's <laughs> but if it's higher than this, it will be higher than. Oh, I see. I see. That's right. Because I was saying P. Karambe. Yep, yeah. got it. So uh, that works. So. Uh, the hundred percent mark is today, August thirtieth. It already seems like it's kind of going down, though. I mean, it's leveling off. I caught. I. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So who, who's right, telling us? Whatever. Over, who's I'll take over? it. Harambe's still hilarious. Everybody, dicks out for Harambe. <laughs> We're all in Harambe fever. I bet you everybody's gonna be dressed as Harambe at Dragon Con. There's just gonna be an orgy of Harambe's, and boy, you don't want to see how they get mm -hmm. shot late at night in the Marriott. What? Uh, I think I think there's a new meme that's creeping up, and it's boobs out for ninja. <laughs> the awful thing. What? Ninja, you the body. terrible Alexa, thing. Alexa, turn that attack on. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'll just go it's home. We're beyond it. Oh no, 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 no! All right, so um, man, do we have any more announcements? I feel like we've got more. Uh, you know what? We got to move into uh, we. Let's do this a little bit of out of, out of order because we got some housekeeping. I got another text. I've been texting all over the place. Text with Adam. Text do we have? Do we have a, our, our surprise guest? No, I I wrote. Uh, Hey, <clears throat> Jeff Kanata, can we call you during the live show for five minutes tonight? It'd be like in 40 minutes. He says, tough ask for the wife. Super important. And I said, nah, just wanted to get a hot take of the end of the draft. And he says, ah, sorry, my hot take. I drafted really poorly. I don't think he but understands. He doesn't realize what the issue is. So so let's go ahead and take a look where we are right now. Uh, wait, do we have the movie draft minute? No, Sounder? we stopped no? doing that like uh, three weeks ago. Yeah, because. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I got it mixed up with the uh, Cord the, Killers. The Killer show. Yeah. So um, right now, with 48 hours left in the draft, wait, 30 days have September, April, June, and November. So I guess really, yeah, 48 hours till the final tally is made. Night Attack has 958,893,798 dollars. DTNS has 953,264,637 dollars. Uh, Bryce, you know what's significant about that uh, margin? And let's also keep in, in mind that they are gaining about a million dollars a day on us. Yeah. Do I know what's significant about that margin? Yeah. Um, is it a is it within the margin of error? No, Justin. Well, it seems as if uh, I'll give you a hint. That margin of error, Bryce, is less than nine million two hundred fifty two thousand and thirty eight dollars. Do we have that moment? Oh crap! We should have queued up that moment. If somebody can can find that. Oh, moment. I don't think Bryce has figured it out. I don't. Here are your clues. We wanted to get Jeff Kanata on. The margin is under nine million dollars, and there's forty eight hours left. Uh, at the end of man, I don't even know if anybody's gonna remember this. I don't remember this. Oh, I'm so excited! This is like six months ago. Uh, at the end of the draft, Jeff Kanata decided to make a funny, much like Splinter at the end of the Ninja Turtles movies, and decided to overbid on one of his final movies, which meant that the hoarders of Brian and Justin were able to pick up a film. Hardcore made. Henry! Yeah, $51 on The Conjuring 2, which left Hardcore Henry to us for $24. <gasps> we would have not been able to get that if he had played the game correctly. Oh, my God. And split out. Uh, so we would have been sans Hardcore Henry and the $9 million that it brought in. Considering the fact that we would be surely losing at this point uh, right now, let alone where the final chips settle. So 
to put it in context, the best purchase in the entire game was by Team DTNS when they got the Jungle Book for $13 and it paid out $363 million. The worst pick in the draft was Hardcore Henry by Team Night Attack, <laughs> who paid $24 for a $9 million movie. And Night Attack is going to win because we have the worst pick in the draft. Hardcore Henry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my. I love Hardcore Henry. I don't know, man. People were talking about, oh, it's gonna be too tiring. Oh, to dude, watch, you remember like, this first person oh, yeah, shooter whipping thing. around? Like, it's like a vi video game. Remember that song? I, finally, finally, we can bring the video game experience to the big screen. That's what <laughs> yeah, I think it was. Rev I think it was a revolution in our I ability to win the draft. Nine million dollars worth of audience totals uh, <laughs> told the tale that this is an absolute hit, and people want more of it. <laughs> Hardcore Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, this is the closest we've ever had a summer draft. This is the first summer draft where we haven't gone over a billion dollars for the winner. And this is the first win for Brian and Justin. Yeah. And it was a just and right win. It, it was kind of adorable. You mean a just in Bry win? I'm sorry. I'm gonna... It was a just in Brian. Alexa, turn Bryce off. <laughs> She starts describing a woman in seductive clothing. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right. No, that's fine. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, Brian? Yes. How do you feel? How do you feel about oh, this? Oh man, it feels good. I was afraid that I, uh, I guess that's a that's a third win. Have we have we we both won? I guess I won. Tw this is a fourth team win. I won twice. You won, I won once. Well, I mean, are we counting Puerto Rican league? Uh, no, just just summer league. Just summer league. Just yeah. the big leagues. Yeah. Although I know I didn't win. I didn't win the winner draft. Uh. Because Padre snaked me. That oh, that's one, right. That, <laughs> then he mocked you. <laughs> and I so I so uh, uh, I was excited about my Puerto Rican League championship that I sang a song about it. And then he mocked me with his uh, uh, verbiage from the Bible. Man, I'll, I'll tell you what. It really, it's a weird thing being friends with a Jesuit priest. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, it, it is really, really weird when he can, like, quote scripture to tell you you're a dickhead well and plus and plus when he when he he it's like he lures you in you know reminding you he's a priest and then he says something that's very padre sj to mess with you and you're like damn it i can't get a read on this i'm constantly without equilibrium yeah no is he, he using... is the best in ways that i can't even talk about here uh God to neg so there we go <laughs> and <laughs> it is yeah. night attack dtns am trekker chainsaw suit cord killers and we have concerns so not only did we have concerns come in dead last in this draft, <laughs> but they were kingmakers. But they also were kingmakers and gave us the win by botching the final Hardcore Henry thing. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what, I would feel bad if everything wasn't so above board. Like, that was such a weird moment in the draft that everybody was like, just so we're all cool. And then as it got closer, it was like, hey, man, when is the exact day that it ends? And we got it all figured out. Uh, I, I, I think like it's we might legit. we might have that moment here. W's got his one might have pulled it from the chat room. My this chat room is the moment frozen. that we won the movie draft. My chat room, my whole computer is frozen over on the side. Whoa. My computer's had a seizure. It's having a stroke. <clears throat> Let me see if I can save it. You want you want to reboot and we can paste that in. Uh -oh. Sure. Uh, well, I mean, do you want to? Do you have to reboot or can I, you? Just... I actually might be able to bring it up. Hold on. Wait oh, great, great. Hey, I had an idea for a bit. Can we do uh -huh. a bit where we we do something and we do it ostensibly the same bit, just different ways, but we tell everybody at home, starting at this moment, they have to alter the speed of their playback. Because I listen to all my podcasts at one and a quarter speed. Uh, except for except for Radio Lab, uh, because that one's so sound intensive. Do, am I the only one who does that? Do you guys listen to your podcast at alternate speeds? Uh, I do not. No, I don't. Yeah. No. All right. Well, apparently it's a brand thing. You're s I tried doing that, and I was like, 
And then you started talking to me real fast. I was telling you, girl, you got to go over here. You got to do that. Uh, all right, here. Uh, if you want to put me First full of all, screen, that's a great pause face on Brant. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, let's, ah! let's let's snapshot that and meme it. <laughs> that's my new favorite Brant face. Uh, you're muted. You're muted. You got uh. it. You can hit. hit. <laughs> the best show we've ever done. <laughs> Printing is open for six dollars. Eight dollars. I mean, I might as well bid fifty-one. <laughs> Nine dollars to Blanca. How much do you buy it for fifty-one dollars? Eleven dollars. Fifty-one dollars, yeah! Jeff Canada. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Why not? All right, pause it once. <laughs> wow, you just screwed up the, uh, the, the fan drive. Going twice. <laughs> yeah, the, fan, are the fans are using these prices. Like Sold, so we have concerns for $51. Oh, oh standing ovation to you, sir. I think the country could be bigger. I think it could be oh. big. So Civil War will now go for 24 <laughs> yes. Oh, that was amazing. You just, you just so we not only got... Hardcore Henry for 24. We got Civil War for 24. That's right. We would have had to, we were prepared to pay $50 for Civil War. Yep. And, or $48. That was the last movie out. But it was Hardcore Henry and then Civil War. Yeah. And we just had extra money laying around and we were able to get that. That's amazing. Uh, uh, dude, great, great. Still a great season. <laughs> Still a great draft. Oh, dude. That was great. That was amazing, and now we got to get uh, we got to get uh, all uh, clapped up for the uh, for the winter draft for the Puerto Rican league. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do that fast too. Hey man, you want to take a little bit and do some diamond time? Hey man, hey man, you want to hang out on the bleachers, do a little diamond time? Yeah, man, diamondclub.reddit.com is where you can get your project shouted out. So go ahead and head on over there right now, and uh, well, not right now. Usually earlier in the day, so everybody can vote up your project, and we will read it right here on the show. We begin. Jury Facts writes a a literal god here in the chat room. Uh, Jury Facts writes, "Yo, are you a procrastinator like Brian and haven't booked your room yet for Dragon Con?" <laughs> Jesus, cut uh, well on time. Time out. Time out. Uh, I do want to give a quick super super thank you for Waffle Um uh, Matt has been. My hero, because at a time that I was super, super busy, booked with college shows, traveling all over the place, Matt was just hitting me constantly saying like, hey, I think I got a solution for you. I think I got a solution for you. All right, I found an even better solution for you. Um, I, I can't. There, there was a moment above and beyond. Yeah, no, there was up. definitely a moment that I was just everything was so overwhelming. I'm like, hey, uh, we're good enough friends. I can just give you my credit card number, right? And you'll just book this for me. Bye. <laughs> One of these days, we have to make Brian just sleep in his car, right? <laughs> like, otherwise, we're just fostering bad habits. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, all right, so Jerry Vex writes, are you a procrastinator like Brian and haven't blocked, uh, booked out a room yet for Dragon Con? No big deal. Bob Kelly and I have a room for you. We have a room for Thursday night through Sunday night, checking out Monday, available. We got space for two or three people. Get a hold of myself or at Bob Cali via DM. For more info, please come fill our void. Jesus, man. Uh, <laughs> listen, uh, this is manna from heaven. This is amazing. If you were thinking about coming to Dragon Con and it is a drive for you, this is a no brainer staying with those guys is going to be an absolute blast like brian right that's 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 a that's a no Dude, it's no party break. central that's where we re that's where we retire to when we're not ready for bed but we don't want to be out where it's loud and the drinks cost money <laughs> exactly uh all right uh codfish Cod yeah codfish says hi al <clears throat> hi al that's my dad uh hi all i asked for your help for a fellow diamond clubber kayla is a 24 year old mother of two who needs a heart transplant of course with any medical procedure of this magnitude the bills are piling up as she waits on the transplant list kayla and her family are the type who will give you the shirt off their backs if you're in need but won't ask for a thing themselves so her friends have set up a gofundme for her please check it out at gofundme.com slash kayla nelson that's k-a-y-l a N E L S O N anything you could do, even saying a prayer will help. Wow. That's I love that. This is the kind of thing that our team does. Absolutely. And of course, a uh, score Ned says 
Northern Illinois Magic Wheelchair. Me and my friends are not building a haunted house this year, so we joined up with Magic Wheelchair to build an awesome fire truck costume for a local kid. It is bit.ly slash magic wheelchair. Uh, oh, this is wonderful. So they build they build badass costumes for uh, 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 for for uh, kids in wheelchairs, right? I mean, looks like it. Uh, go ahead. I, I haven't read the link. I'm just reading the yeah. link. Our it, mission is to give kids in wheelchairs an unforgettable experience by creating custom costumes for them at no expense to their family. Uh, this year, our build is for a little guy named Dalton who has uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Well, wow, that's great. Uh, uh, and then also, we're going to read one from uh, the sheriff of our diamond time that is california carl he writes hey everyone just your resident california carl here to remind new listeners that we've got a con coming up this weekend that means there will not be a live show next tuesday if you're like me you probably don't have anything to do on saturday night so keep an eye on at night attack show on twitter and check out diamondclub.tv on the day where the illustrious sergeant muffin will be live switching any stealth scopes that we can find when will the live stream be uh, 7 p.m. on Saturday, if you are in California. At least that's what jury got printed, so it must be true. <laughs> uh, as long as there aren't any last-minute vacations, the next regularly scheduled live stream and the next Diamond Time should be on September 13th. So, yeah, no Diamond Time next week because we will be doing the live show from Dragon Con. Thank you so much, California Carl, the sheriff of Diamond Time. So you realize this is going to be two weeks in a row. We're going to be able to hang out at uh, Dragon Con. You know what? Maybe we can even try to sneak in uh, just a quick hotel sish. sish? <clears throat> Take two. Uh, no, we're, we're just going to drink and party. That's yeah. it. Got it. Yeah. I mean, typically Dragon Con is not the place for ambition. Yeah. But I'll tell you what. We already have a new sticker that ought to be out real soon. On Dragon Con. If, this is how you know that we have professionals at the helm of Night Attack 4. <laughs> One of our lead uh, producers. producers just sent along this. A <laughs> Night logo. Oh, my gosh. And this is amazing. I love at Night. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. <laughs> Unreal. Well, you realize, Unreal. You realize somebody's going to have a year anniversary coming up soon. Uh, we've yeah, been... no, uh, our uh, the anniversary of me marrying um, Ashley uh, is, uh, is that her name? Uh, <laughs> at Dragon Con. Yeah. yeah, congrats. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, wait. To be so honest, do, you, do you celebrate uh, your anniversary like on Labor Day at Dragon Con forever, or or on the actual date? I think we're gonna we're gonna do it at at Dragon Con. I think that that's that's what we've kind of agreed on is that it'll be a a Dragon Con celebration or a Labor Day celebration, but. Uh, uh, September 5th is the actual day, just to prove that I remember it. <laughs> Man, I got to tell you, I'm super stoked, super stoked. I, we got anything else on the agenda? I feel like we solved uh, Harambe. We solved Harambe. Uh, we have uh, not only, we have two big shows coming up, uh, not only the one at Dragon Con this weekend, but also with Adam Curry on uh, September 13th which is just two days before September 15th. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, yeah, man. Die in the fire. <laughs> we love you. See you next time. Saturday. 7 p.m. Good night. I'm allergic to bees. Oh, Justin Robert Young, every time you go, I get so sad that I want to drink a warm glass of Drano. Night attack, night attack, night attack, night attack. Night attack. Night attack, night attack, night attack, night attack, I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>